Hi, this is Tom Adams, and in the next five minutes, I am going to teach you a simple way to be much more valuable and helpful in your relationships, in your work, in your job, in your business, or in your life. So how to be more valuable, you ask? Well, it's really in the power of great questions. And one of the things I keep learning is how important it is in the relationships you have and in the work you do to be really effective at questions. See, we, we have this belief, and I have spent years sort of um, perfecting the art of being great at answers. And what I've discovered the longer and the more, the older I become and the more I've worked in business is what uh, a lot of people have said, uh, many times the most brilliant thinkers have always said this, the answers are not what matter, it's the questions. Uh, Einstein, you know, he, he, was, he was kind of the curious type, and he said it, it's really about always asking questions, it's about never stopping asking questions. Uh, Peter Drucker, the famous management consultant, I, I'm going to read this because it's that good. The most serious mistakes are not being made as a result of the wrong answers. The true dangerous thing is asking the wrong questions. And uh, Drucker, as a management consultant, was known as the, the king of questions. In fact, he was often called the insultant, not the consultant, because of his tendency to actually question people uh, to a point of frustration because he was seeking seeking to find things out in a more profound way. Socrates, as you know, you know, he developed the whole system. The Socratic method uh, really comes from Socrates and his whole, the whole approach that he built was ask questions to really understand deeper what's going on. Voltaire, he had an interesting quote and I, I love this. Voltaire said, judge a man by his questions, not by his answers. So uh, Voltaire actually said that the best questioners are the people you want to have on your, your side. Uh, Neil Rackham uh, really is the, uh, the guy who wrote Spin Selling and really one of the most important sales books, I believe, of the last 50 years. And Neil Rackham really builds his whole model on four profound kinds of questions. In, in selling and so if you're going to be in the sales business questions are the key to success not the ability to deliver a pitch and so if it's really about the power of great great questions I told you when we started this I wanted to help you to be much more valuable and helpful to other people so what I want to give you is six types of questions you can ask and really help you to understand these and it really demands that you stop trying to say stuff and it's not just about listening though listening is critical to it but it's stopping long enough to be present in the moment that you're in and asking different types of questions to help you understand what's going on and to help bring value to the situation to help the relationship you're in to help your business it's asking these questions and so I'm just gonna go through them quickly hopefully these help you uh, first one is situation and situation is what's going on what's happening what is occurring in this situation that you're in and if you don't ask that one you don't get the lay of the land you don't really understand um, what is happening in the moment clarification clarification is a question of why did you say that or where did that come from it's making sure you understand what has been said or pronounced or given so it's clarify it's a clarifying question the next one I think is really important is to probe an assumption. Um, and probing assumptions as a question might be something like, what could we assume instead? So that happened, but what could we assume might be a different way it would happen? And so assumptions are things that, that are important to probe because they really help to clarify why people are thinking the way they're thinking. Uh, probe reasons and evidence. Uh, this is really important. A lot of people when they're hiring uh, staff don't actually ask for evidence. So a great question would be, what would be an example of that? What would be a uh, evidence that that has occurred? And those kind of questions make sure you get, get to the reality of a situation. 
um, viewpoints and perspectives. So how do they look at it? It's, and it's maybe not so much an assumption question, but it's really um, what are the different ways that they see the situation they're in? And so you might ask, what's another way of looking at this? Uh, what's, what are you, um, what kind of viewpoint or what kind of perspective are you coming from when you look at that particular situation? So you're, you're actually digging in on the different ways that people look at things. And then finally, implications and consequences. And the thing I like about this is it allows you to sort of get to what's next. So in a sales situation, the implication is how does not purchasing this software affect your future results? Um, in a, a consequent situation, um, in terms of how, you know, a, a family situation, how does not um, dealing with your kid in this situation affect um, what happens in their life? And there's, there's kinds of those consequence or implication questions that can be very helpful for you. So, uh, the reason I give these to you is to just give you a methodology or a structure whereby you can ask questions. If you have enough ways of asking questions, when you get in situations where questions can become the secret of helping you understand a situation, and in many cases, helping a situation understand itself, uh, questions are the powerful way to do that. So my encouragement to you today is be like Einstein, Drucker, Socrates, Voltaire, and Rackham. Be a questioner before you're an answerer. I hope that helps. We'll talk to you next time.